Hi, Les Druven here with a video on how to determine the effective R value for an exposed ceiling when using R40 insulation. Let's have a look at our proposed exposed ceiling construction. So we're looking at a ceiling comprising of typical trusses and the cords of the trusses are made with 2x4 and the trusses are spaced at 24 inches on center and in this case we need R40 insulation and we're going to use loose fill for attics. If you refer to page B3 in your HRAI manual down at the bottom near the bottom you're going to see fiberglass loose fill sorry glass fiber loose fill insulation for attics listed at an R value of 2.7 per inch so here we've got 2.7 now we know we want to have R40 insulation but how thick does that actually have to be so all you need to do is divide R40 by the R value per inch so R40 divided by R2.7 per inch and we come up with 14.81 inches or probably 15 inches of insulation loose fill for attics would give us R40 now the problem is that we do have some framing we've got this area of framing in here and so unfortunately that's going to reduce slightly the overall effective R value of this entire assembly so we've got a total of 14.8 inches of insulation we know that our trusses are made of 2x4s which means that the 2x4 is actually three and a half inches tall or deep if you wish and we know that we've got 24 inches on center so we use a special formula to establish the effect of our value and we've got this formula up here 100 all divided by the a the percent framing divided by the R value of the framing plus the percent insulation divided by the R value of the insulation and if you were to look on page C5 of your HRAI manual you should find a table that looks like this and this table gives us these percent values that we need to complete our calculation so in our case we've got a ceiling an exposed ceiling and we're using typical trusses and we know that the trusses are spaced at 24 inches on center so we're going to be in this row and that means that our values can be pulled right from the table so the percent framing is 11 and the percent of the cavity or the insulation is 89 percent take those values and substitute those into your equation here then the next step is we need to establish the R value of our wood framing. So since the wood is three and a half inches deep and the R value for our wood, if you look on page B4 of the uh, HRAI manual, you will find that down near the bottom you've got structural framing lists at 1.23 R value per inch therefore since our truss bottom cord is three and a half inches deep you would multiply 3.5 times 1.23 per inch and we get a R value of 4.31 for a three and a half inch thick piece of construction framing then we've got our insulation in this area here. The insulation is also three and a half inches, but as we found out earlier, the insulation has an R value of 2.7 per inch. 
So you can take the thickness of the insulation, 3.5 times the R value per inch, which is 2.7, and you end up with an R value of 9.45 right in this area of the framing. Now divide 11, divide, uh, di divide 11 by 4.31 plus 89 divided by 9.45 and then 100 divided by all of that, you should get an effective R value of 8.35 for this portion of framing right in here. However, since we've got a total of 14.81 inches, that means we've got a balance of 11.3 inches of fiberglass insulation which is above the framing. So essentially what we have here is 11.3 inches of continuous insulation across the entire exposed ceiling. So we can establish the R value by taking 11.3 times the 2.7 and getting the total R value for this top layer of insulation. So now let's have a look at the worksheet. You can see that once again you've got to have your exterior and interior air films. Now if we work from the top down, the cold side down, our exterior air film will be 0.17. Then as established, the effect of our value through the framing is 8.35. The balance of the insulation provides us an R value of 30.51. So that's going to be this 11.3 inches of insulation. Then we've got our 5 8 layer of gypsum. So gypsum is listed at 0.88 per inch. So 5 8 is 0.625. So 0.625 times 0.88 gives us 0.55. The interior air film for an exposed ceiling has an R value of 0.62. Now you can add all those individual R values and that gives us a total effective R value of 40.2 for this particular assembly. The metric equivalent RSI would be 40.2 divided by 5.67 and that will give you 7.09.